2013 has been great. Um, it's been uh, busy as hell, of course. Like my album came out in the last year, so it's like this is the year that I was going to be doing stuff all year round. I toured from like February all through summer up to now, basically, and it's all been good. And I've even had time to write some new music. I've moved house. I've uh, been kind of all over the world, and I can't complain. It's been a good year. I'm going to take a couple of months out to write and record, uh, hopefully finish up my next album, if all goes to plan, you know, have that out for the next year. So, you know, when I'm not touring, I'm, I live a pretty solitary uh, life, like, I, I, you know, I do this full time, so when I'm not on tour, I'm just at home. I'm basically an unemployed bum who goes on tour every now and again. One of my heroes is Bonnie Prince Billy. And uh, I'd love to be him, you know. I actually did a cover of one of his songs not so while ago for Day Trotter. And like, I just, they just had a piano in the studio and I was like, do you mind if I just play a song on the piano? And, you know, it was like the least Chad Valley thing ever. I was just singing like this, this sort of country-esque, uh, depressing song on piano with a kind of like almost yodel in it. I love like going back and discovering old music. Like today I've been listening in the car to Yes for like four hours and it's just like there's this whole world of music from the past which I think a lot of people kind of forget that exists. El Pera Del Mar, she's a Swedish singer who I've like been a huge fan of for like five or six years. Um, really influential to me uh, musically. And she, some, for some reason, wanted to sing on my record. I couldn't really believe it. Um, so that was a huge one for me. I kind of feel like Chad Valley is, is one thing I do of many things. And with, I've got another band called Jonquil. Uh, I produce like house music under a different name as well. And I, if I called the project Hugo Manuel, it would just be like, this is, this is my thing. This is what I am. And I like to think of myself as being lots of different things. My first experiences of being in bands and stuff was like super DIY. It was all about just like putting on a show and hoping that 20 people turned up, paying like a couple of pounds at the door. And you know, if you were lucky, you would get a free drink. And that was it. And that's, and I used to see touring bands who would do a similar thing, like bands from all over Europe uh, would, would come and play in these little tiny venues and they'd get paid next to nothing. And they are just doing it to have a bit of fun. And that's why I thought, was the only option and I did that for a while and then I was like oh shit you can actually you know if you get hyped enough or whatever if you get picked up by the right press like you can turn this into a thing. I've toured here loads this year like I spent all of uh, March here. Um, I was back here in June as well so like it's, it's kind of feeling like home a little bit and that's really cool because I love America. Crowds here are kind of better than they are back home for me, so it's it's familiar enough that I know what it, I know what I'm doing, but it's still exciting as well. <laughs> <laughs>